Guys, I've done this for years. Worked TBA for Texaco for many, many moons. And I've always applied uh, grease to the, to the wheel studs. It's just a wheel, wheel bearing grease. I'll tell you what, man, I have had more problems with lug nuts breaking off of studs, or breaking the studs themselves, I mean, from a dry stud, wheel stud, rather than one that's been lubricated. I've never had any trouble. The lug nuts are not going to loosen up because it's on a surface that's lubricated, but they sure will bust off. Uh, you'll break them if they go on dry and stay on for any, uh, you know, good amount of time. So, I've always done this. In fact, uh, the Toyota 4Runner, uh, my wife's 4Runner, uh, they use a copper-based anti-seize on their lug nuts, uh, wheel studs, I mean. And, uh, you know, if I wasn't such a tightwad, I'd probably put a copper base uh, on this. But it's a big old motorhome. This is not a vehicle that we go out off-roading with and, and put through the paces as we do with her 4Runner. So the old-fashioned... Uh, wheel bearing grease I think is adequate and I've used it for years on all my pickup trucks now the motor home and uh, guys I'd like to say this is really a good way to go you're going to be torquing this down to 140 foot pounds and they will not loosen because of the grease uh, I'm sure there's going to be some people arguing with that but hey that's okay this is what I do great if if you elect not to that that's your prerogative definitely uh, like I say, I've done this for years, been doing it uh, probably since the late 80s and never had an issue one, but have had many issues busting wheel studs uh, that have just been torqued on and been on for years. So anyway, let's get this wheel on. This is, uh, this is actually one that's uh, keyed kind of interestingly. Let me get the wheel, bring it over. This can always be a, a lot of fun. <laughs> a big old heavy wheel and tire, for sure. But uh, we've got the thing raised in the air far enough that, uh, high enough I should say, that we're not gonna have any difficulty mounting this. It's just gonna be a matter of lining it up. So anyway, the pin, I need to line up the wheel with the pin. So let's bring the, uh, bring the wheel around. To where the pin is going to line up and that's right there so good we'll bring this up to uh, say 12 o'clock as well and we should be in fine shape let's see if we can get it close yep sure enough careful not to pinch your fingers man that hurts that's for sure looking good let's see if we can get this on there like we know what we're doing. Sorta. There we go. Woohoo! Voila, got it. It's on there. Good. Now we'll start with the lugs that I've left in the uh, cardboard box. We get those spun on. 27 millimeter all the way around, which was not the case on the rest of the motorhome. There was a whole bunch of different sizes but they're all 27 millimeter now and we're talking external size so the 27 millimeter socket fits which I think was common for older Fords don't quote me on that but uh, like I say, 95% was 27 millimeter. That 5% on the back would have been a problem coming back from Tucson. All fat, dumb, and happy like we, we were all set for any flat tire operation. Well, we certainly weren't. That's like putting a spare tire on as the wrong rim. So, anyway, here we go. We'll get these on. And then uh, we'll set the wheel down once I get them snugged up. And I'll show you... Uh, the operation on the uh, torque wrench that we use. Show you a little trick here. Take the claw, the hammer, stick it under the front tire. 
and that'll help uh, keep the tire from turning. Put a little foot action there. Here. And we're just going to snug these lug nuts up a little bit. Cross pattern as usual. Get the wheel on square. And we'll just get this thing kind of snugged up and then we'll set it back down on the ground. And I'll get the torque wrench out. And just follow along here with the cross pattern. And this, uh, this was not very effective here with the hammer. Let's see if we can get something else under there. Maybe keep it from turning just a little bit. Okay, that's much better. There we go. So we're going to do the cross pattern. Get the lug nuts snug. A little tricky with all these lug nuts to make sure, but just give it an effort that you're doing a cross pattern. Make sure you got all of them pretty snug. Let's see if you missed that one. Sure, I haven't missed that bumper with my knuckles, so that's painful. Bumper. Anyway, get the hammers out. Then we're going to get the jack out, jack stand. Going to lower the jack down. Set the motor home on the ground. Be back with the, uh, with the torque wrench in just a second. I got Sears Craftsman torque wrench, which is a half inch drive. Got the 27 millimeter socket. Got this dialed into 140 foot pounds, which is what is recommended by Ford on these lug nuts. And then we're going to do the cross pattern again. We should be pretty doggone close, but uh, we're going to go cross pattern as much as we can until we get up to the 140 pound. Then we'll go once or twice around and click them all off, you know. So, anyway, pretty confident that I haven't missed one yet. Let's just double check. There's one. There's two at 140. 140. 140. And so on and so forth. So let's go one time around. Make sure they're all sitting at 140 foot pounds. Still seems reasonable. First time that wrench has ever malfunctioned on me. Of course, naturally. I'm trying to make a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a real pleasure. Uh, I'd like to bring you some more videos as I have time and uh, and uh, really enjoy doing this. And uh, Be sure to like and subscribe and all that happy stuff. Anyway, God bless you guys and I hope that this has helped somebody out there and, uh, and peace out. Okay, modest means.